One of Acura's big issues over the past few years has been their confusing and overlapping lineup of sedans, especially their flagship RL. Now, that car became entirely obsolete just a few years ago when the smaller TL model got the brand's super handling all-wheel drive system and an even more powerful V6 engine. And while the TL had divisive style, at least it had some style, the RL was entirely forgettable. And I'm not just editorializing here. In all of 2012, Acura sold just 379 RLs. Here, Acura claims, is their solution. It has a new look, a new name, a lot more interior room, and some impressive new technology. Meet the 2014 Acura RL X. I am quite impressed with this car, but I'll admit it's not really going to draw customers into Acura dealerships. Sure, it has those beautiful jewel eye headlights right up on the front, but overall the style just isn't very captivating. Now, the same could easily be said of the BMW 5 Series, but then again, that's a BMW and people will buy it just because of the badge. Acura does not have that luxury. It does look more modern than the old car and a good bit larger, although that's surprising because it's actually not any longer overall. It is about two inches wider, however, adding more interior room, but I'll get to more on that later. Under the hood, it's not terribly exciting either. Gone is the old 3.7 liter V6, and in its place is actually a smaller 3.5 liter unit. It does, however, have direct injection technology, and it is the first Acura to use variable cylinder management, meaning it can run on just three cylinders to help preserve fuel. Power is up to 310 horsepower, and it makes 272 foot-pounds, which go to the front wheels. Now, fuel economy is good. It's rated at 20 in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway, and a combined 24 miles per gallon. Now, Acura is already claiming that that's best in class, but that's not exactly true, because the four-cylinder BMW 328 actually gets better numbers. While technically a mid-size sedan competing against cars like the Mercedes E-Class, Audi A6, and Lexus GS, Acura says the interior is really more like a full-size sedan, and they certainly don't seem to be wrong. Look at how much legroom I have in this car, even at six foot one. Uh, Acura claims a best-in-class rear seat legroom, best-in-class shoulder room, and about two inches more knee room than any of its competitors. The interior is a big improvement over the old car, though I wouldn't say it's quite as nice as, say, the Lexus GS. What I do like is that it's quite clean in here. Acura is known for always having a very cluttered dash with a million buttons, and here, as you can tell, there are very few. Up top, we've got this 8-inch screen, which will show the backup camera as well as the optional navigation system, and down here, we have a 7-inch unit. Now, that'll show your regular radio displays, things like that, plus it also has haptic feedback, which means when you touch the screen, you actually feel it. Other standard features include a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, keyless access with a push-button start, a backup camera, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. For $55,000, you can get a car with the tech package, which includes 19-inch wheels, upgraded leather, blind spot warning, and a 14-speaker audio system. And finally, for $60,450, there's the advanced package, which adds that adaptive cruise control, plus the lane keeping assist, and of course, you get nice options like ventilated seats and rear heated seats. Behind the wheel, the car is smooth and quiet, like you'd expect. Uh, the steering itself is actually quite light, and you can pretty much just turn it with one finger if you want to, although surprisingly, it's very accurate. But there is one thing about the drive of the RLX that makes it especially unique, and that's that it has a system on it called precision all-wheel steering. So yes, it is a front driver, but the rear wheels will actually turn independently. It essentially does away with one of the major drawbacks of a front-wheel drive car, and that's understeer. You'll find that when you pitch this car into a corner, just when you feel that understeer is just about to happen, it'll actually just twitch in the rear a little bit, the car will align a little bit better, and then you can just stay on the power and it'll pull you through. It's an amazing system. If you're not in a 
sporting mode, the RLX does have some amazing technology and safety features on the drive as well. Uh, one of the foremost is a adaptive cruise control feature with a low speed follow. Now, essentially that means that in stop and go traffic, it'll do all the stop and going for you. Trust me, if you've never experienced a system like this, once you have, you'll never want to live without it. There's also an available lane keeping assist system. If you're driving along the highway and you're not paying attention, you start to go to your lane, it will actually pull the car right back into your lane. True to the Acura brand, they're once again doing their own thing. Ignoring the fact that all of their competitors have rear wheel drive sedans and building a front drive midsize luxury sedan. And what makes the RLX so impressive is that with its precision all wheel steering system, it doesn't even really matter much anymore where the power is going to. The 2014 RLX is well priced, has excellent features, and even better interior room. The Acura brand, however, doesn't quite have the cachet of its German competitors or even some of its home Japanese rivals. And that brings to light the RLX's biggest issue, and that's that a car like this would be much easier to gush over if it had the sort of looks it really deserves. And one last thing, as nice as this RLX is, Acura is planning something much more impressive. They will soon have a model with the brand's first use of their sport hybrid super handling all wheel drive system. Now that will deliver 370 horsepower and at the same time will average 30 miles per gallon. It will use a front hybrid V6 engine as well as dual electric motors in the rear. It'll be an absolute hoot. I've already driven a prototype of the car and I'm sure that will be the RLX to get.